Hello everyone, my name is Chirag Patil and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we will explore the Quadrant Vector Database, right? Which is also called as Quadrant or Quadrant. Okay, so this is one kind of vector database which support a hybrid search, right? So hybrid search basically you can consider like a keyword search as well plus the vector related search which is we are using, right? In another uh, vector database like ChromaDB, basically cosine similarity are from the text embedding right so let's implement it and we'll check how it is performing right so first of all uh, the quadrant db is uh, open source and it's provided a cloud support as well which is of course paid right but if you want to install and run in your system and set up it your own uh, virtual machine or machine it will free and open source right so let's see so first of all to run it we need a docker installation right so let's use these commands okay so first of all let me copy it we will first pull this quadrant on docker image okay so let me paste here okay so it will be downloaded let's copy this command so basically it's supports like a rest call as well second thing it also support a web dashboard where you can see your collections your on your vectors and related text there so you can visualize basically in chroma db we don't have this kind of a mechanism right and it also support grpc call as well so let's see yeah so it is downloaded now let me run this so if you see we are uh, running it and providing the port like 6333 and 6334 right let's run this allow okay yeah so it is running right so let's go to the dashboard okay yeah yeah so you can see here we don't have any collection here because we had just installed it here right if you see here so we are already uh, providing a volume here so volume will be the present working directly and quadrant storage so if you see here uh, let me show you so here one we have one folder right quadrant storage so whatever vector we will create it will be stored here so you can utilize it again if you are stopping your docker container and running again this data will be here persistent right so you can utilize it okay so now i think let's close this and we can work on coding right so now uh, the quadrant database is working in my uh, local system now we need to create a vector database and store it and retrieve it right so so for that we will use the langchain community basically langchain hugging face we will use for the embedding part and langchain packages for quadrant okay so let's start so first of all uh, to create a vector database we required one file or text file or document right which we will convert into embedding so i am using here one file which is nothing but a wikipedia text of python related so you can see here like it is containing the information about python so python is a high level general purpose programming language and where it was released and other stuff right so let's use first a langchain to convert our document into chunks right so let me write loader will be text loader so for simplicity i am using the text loader we can use pdf and other stuff as well right so i need to provide the path here let's say python.txt and now documents will be loader.load then we will create one splitter right so let's say text splitter will be so i am using recursive character text splitter right so let me provide here so if i say chunk spice sorry so chunk size will be let's say i am keeping a lower chunk size right let's say 200 characters okay only now i need to split this document right so i can say docs will be text splitter dot split document and it will be our documents right okay now let's run this and if you see our docs 
yeah so here we have multiple docs right which has a page content which is around 200 character like you can see python is a high level general purpose programming language and that kind of thing right okay so now we have our documents let's implement now quadrant vector store so we can install we can store our embeddings into that so before that let's create one embedding model right so for embedding model i simply use hugging face embeddings so we do not require any open ai key or anything you can simply replace this code with open ai embedding and it will work right because of the length chain so let me say embedding model will be hugging face right so default it will use like a sentence transformer model so we will leave it as it is okay so now let's run embedding model so it will i think download the model first now let's build a quadrant vector store right so if you see here when we running the docker image of the quadrant we can access that using this local url right which is 633 so we require this url to let me copy here okay to connect our quadrant vector store with our docker image right so yeah it is downloading the model first let it be download so we will create here our client for docker uh, quadrant vector database right so let's say i will just write quadrant docker it will be so i am using let me define first url right so i will say docker url where basically our quadrant db is running right so it will be yeah local or 633 right so our quadrant docker will be we will use quadrant quadrant vector store right so we know with vector store we directly can use from documents method right so let's say from documents we need to pass few arguments here so first will be our docs right second will be our embedding right so you can see here first is document second is the embedding and then other like keyword argument right so let's say we are passing our embedding model and we'll pass our collection name right so we can see that let's say collection name will be i will just passing test collection okay so this will be what we would require currently okay to convert our documents into a vector with the quadrant db so let's run this it will take some time right so now we can apply here similarity search okay so i can say let's say simple question what is python right so let it be first create the documents we will see in the dashboard as well how it is created and stored right so let's see first the result okay yeah so by default it will return four documents which are very similar to our query point which is what is python right so if you see here sorry let me scroll it okay yeah so you can see python is high level general purpose it is multi paradigm programming language which are very accurate right what we required to provide the answer simple so now let's visualize the dashboard right so if i refresh here i will see here one test collection right if you go inside you can find here like the page content for each vectors okay so length is 768 and you can find similar here as well related to uh, this uh, document right so this is very good point about the quadrant database we can visualize so if you see the info here so we can find the other info as well here like how many points are there and this optimizer status but it's green that means everything is working fine right so yeah this is about how we can create embeddings and store into the quadrant db right so now the second point is like if we want to create a hybrid search okay or let's say hybrid collection where we can provide the two model one is a dense dense will be our hugging face and sparse model which will use some kind of tfidf and other techniques to search on a keyword base right then how we can do that so let me write here hybrid search it is very simple with the quadrant to use hybrid search right 
so if you see here so for doing hybrid study with the quadrant it support multiple models based on a fast embed library okay so if you see here quadrant fast embed right so if you see there are lots of model which are text embedding models right basically so it support also dense model as well and sparse model so dense ways we are using hugging face model so we require sparse which can be work as a tf idf kind of thing as well right so if you see here so we will use this one model like bm42 all mean lm okay this one so if you see it requires tf idf right and it is lightweight and vocab size is 30000 something okay so we'll use this model so let me write so first of all that for that we need to use fast embed sparse okay so it will support and we need to pass the name of that model and it will uh, return the model right so let me create sparse model first sorry let's say sparse model will be fast embed sparse we need to pass model name right model name will pass that one this one so let me copy it okay so this will be our sparse model we can provide the base size as well it will run on the cpu so let's say base size will be 4 for simplicity okay so this will be our okay what is the error the fast embed package is not installed right okay so let's install this keep install fast embed okay so i install that fast embed package and now we can create our model right so it will fetch some file and create the model so we will use same model here uh, same uh, function which is quadrant vector store from document we will pass two extra argument there which will be our sparse model and second will be a retrieval mode right so let's say i will just write quadrant hybrid okay so we can see that quadrant hybrid we will use quadrant vector store dot from documents and we need to pass few arguments the first will be of course the docs second will be our embedding model third let's say we pass url will be a docker url and now we need to pass a collection name okay so let's say collection name will be let's say test hybrid and then we will pass as our sparse embedding okay so let's say sparse embedding will be our sparse model so we can say sparse model and last thing we need to provide which is a uh, retrieval mode right so let's say so we need to pass the argument will be like this okay everything is small retrieval mode will be a retrieval mode dot capital hybrid okay so this retrieval mode we had imported from here Langchain quadrant right there are multiple modes so we will use here hybrid right let's run this so basically we had provided sparse model retrieval mode and everything rest is same and we have provided collection name which is different from that right so let's run this it will take few time right few seconds basically because we are using two models to create our embeddings first is a sparse model and second is our hugging face model and everything is running on the cpu so it might take few seconds okay simple so we can write simply here so now as we know our this uh, quadrant uh, vector store is created using this retrieval hybrid we just need to provide a similarity search there is no different from that okay so we can say like let's say what is python simple we use same question here okay yes so python is high level general purpose programming language and python is multiple Plus paradigm and it is meant to be easily readable right so simple so this is how you can implement this hybrid search as well so if you have lots of documents at that time you can understand like hybrid search is working or not right with small smaller data set it would be similar or same result you will find but when it's terms of like you will increase the pdfs and documents and the number of vectors at that time this hybrid mode will help you right okay so simply let's see now our dashboard okay so if you go to the dashboard uh, let me refresh so we can see okay collections so now yes we have here test hybrid collection right so here you can see 
there are two basically vectors one is 768 which is our hugging face dense embedding second is the length okay which is 20 and the of course the second model which is uh, bm45 or bm25 which we are using here for the sparse right it depends on the length this bm42 so you can see here there are two vectors are there first is embedding which is dense and second is sparse so now we learn how to create the documents right so here what we are doing we are applying the from documents directly and passing the documents and it will be converted into the vector but let's say we have already we have already uh, one data set uh, which is converted into the vector db and we need to directly use that right so let's build a client which can directly interact with this right so let's say client so for that we will use a quadrant client there right so let me import one thing from quadrant client import quadrant client class okay everything will be the same we just need to create the client and then we will pass into the length chain methods okay so let's say our quadrant let's say quadrant client will be the redundant name so let's say client only client will be quadrant client and we need to pass a url here okay so url will be our docker url which is localhost url right so this will be our one client and now we will use quadrant vector store and we will pass over this client so we can perform other operations right so let's say we just need to let's say hybrid sorry hybrid sub let's say quadrant vector store now we will not use that method from document we will use only quadrant vector store class right so client will be our client and we need to pass our collection from where we need to uh, perform the query right so let's say collection name we will use that test hybrid right and we need to provide that models as well right which were providing the same argument here so let me copy this right this will be everything will be same here sparse embedding okay so let me paste it here now we don't need to pass the url because the client already contains that right so now here if you see we are not using any kind of documents and passing from documents method right so it is pure client to just do retrieval things right okay so there is one embedding sparse embedding cannot be when mode is okay okay sorry so we haven't passed embedding model yet right so let's say embedding will be our embedding model right so as you know we need to perform hybrid search so we require two models right so let's run this so now we have our this client and we can perform same operation let's say from similarity search there are multiple methods similarity search with a relevant score and everything right so let's see any other question if we can ask so let's say indentation and let's say what is indentation we ask okay let's say what is indentation in python okay yeah so now we get some answer let's verify that okay, so it is providing sorry let me scroll this right okay so you can see indentation signifies the end of the cu current block etc right which is the correct information if you see here uh, let's find end of yes so it is like in indentation signifies the end of current block which is correct right in the indentation section so this is how you can implement the hybrid search or the simple search i would say which is dense embedding based right in the quadrant db if you have any query related to it you can ask in the comment section i'll reply there and if you enjoy this video please press the like button and subscribe my channel for more such a content thank you